Good afternoon, YouTube. Maybe where you are. Might be good morning, maybe good night. But it's a uh, Monday afternoon where I'm at, and uh, in uh, central Kentucky, United States. So I want to show you, I'm back over at the house that you may remember videos and videos ago. Uh, we tore the floors out in here, uh, redid the hole upstairs that had never been finished out. You can see we got carpet down, linoleum carpet. This house is nearing the end, but I wanted to show you what I was doing now. Uh, the people had broke the glass out of this door here. It's an old door. So I didn't want to try to get a new one, fit a new one in and all that. So I am cutting this side of the trim out. There's a piece of glass there. So what I'm doing is taking the multi-tool and cutting right along this crease right here and cutting this out. And then I'm gonna put a piece of thick plexiglass in and then re-trim this out. So here is my thick piece of plexiglass. You can see the thickness of it there. So if the camera's focusing on that, it's a quarter inch thick, that's what it is. Polycarbonate, polycarbonate sheet. Of course, all this will peel off. It'll be real clear. Got the Milwaukee multi tool. Actually, uh, you've probably heard me talk about a guy named Bobby Oberhausen. Uh, he does a lot of uh, a lot of handyman work for me, just odds and ends. He puts all my roofs on stuff. He's the one that gave me the idea to do this because I asked him what could be done with it. So he gave me the idea. So coming out real good. This will also give us a chance to do a new tool Tuesday because I bought a new tool knowing I was going to do this. <laughs> Not the new tool. I ran a thin bead of caulk around there just to hold it. Just to kind of hold it in. I didn't want to put real glass in here. Now I'm just going to put that on there for tonight and that will give that time, that caulk time to seal in our stick but just keep it from falling out and then I've got to run by the lumber place and get some little bitty shoe molded put around there it'll be as good as new alright to continue our new tool Tuesday here it is it is and i've gotten to be a big fan of the milwaukee nail guns 
And so this is the M12 23 gauge pin nailer. Ooh. So I bought it for the application which we're getting ready to look at. LED light, uh, magazine reload indicator, tool free drive depth adjustment, consistent clean pinhole nails, pin nail holes. Uh, just to see, da, da, da. nitrogen air spring mechanism, double action trigger, battery fuel gauge. So anyway, that's it, right there. So we're gonna try it out here in just a minute. There's the little release button. It's got a little red indicator. When you get down in there, you need to start hunting some nails so it looks like it's got a little safety right here so you got to pull down and then fire the trigger there's no on and off there's the indicator right there for the battery there's no on and off switch like on a lot of the m18 stuff they got on and off where you change it and so on not on the m12 i don't think the stapler even has the on and off there's your LED. There's a little soft tilt on it. Very compact. I picked up uh, only nails I could find with porta cables. So I got some one inchers, one and a quarters, three and a quarters. First time I've ever seen this. They're headless, which I knew they were. So I guess, well, they've got, I guess this pointing like this, showing that that goes down. So we'll open that up. And they kind of, they fit down behind this little metal groove that holds them. So I've got the arrows pointed down, like it said. Let's go try this now on what I, what I kind of applications I bought this for. So here's your, right here, your depth. I'm not gonna fool with it. That's uh, right there, right below the surface. Uh, that's where you set your depth right there up and down. It's got an arrow shows you which way to turn it There's another tip The light It's got a little pocket hook If you want to hook it on your pocket. So here's the kind of application and I'll show you doing this in a minute But this is just a flat piece of a little trim. I've had to rip it just a little bit for my thickness This is where at the first of the video you saw me putting this plexiglass in so we're gonna fit that in like so. And I've ripped it down, I'm gonna push on it. Unlike on other nail guns, that does not push in. It's just right there. You just set it on there and then fire the trigger. Let me go cut another one. Man, I'm just barely having to take, you can see how thin that is right there, just barely taking some off. This is upside down. I'm gonna dab just a smidgen of glue on here. Cause those nails are headless. I'm just putting a thin run down through there so it don't squirt it out. And I had, you saw in the first of the video where I ran silicone caulk down. You will see me here fumbling with the trigger. That trigger is it's hard for me to maneuver. That little trigger, see that? Just a tad getting used to that. It's a little 
awkward. So you don't have to put any pressure on the tip. It'll just fire. Hey Jeff, I was gonna show you right here. You're getting ready to paint this, you can take these off, mm -hmm. take this off, mm -hmm. and then take the caulk and just go right around right. like that. Okay. Caulk that in, just smooth it up real good. And right. I'll put a new door handle on it with a lock. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but we- Some Phillips. Yeah, a little Phillips, Phillips. head. Okay. But, uh, just kind of might need to might yeah. be a place to might need to be hit with a little sand and paper. Yeah. The only thing that and I don't I don't have my staple gun here, the little M12. That's my only little thing out there. It's a, it's just a it's a little hard to get used to, and and this is nitpicking, but just to grab it and then come in like that. You know, you you just don't pick it up and like just come in. You know, with a trigger. You got to come in like with these two fingers and come down and then she's ready to fire. Will it fire in the air? Look at there. That's like a movie Lethal we Weapon. You remember that scene where that guy was... Look at there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to put this beside my bed instead of the 38. <laughs> Anyway, that's the, uh, whoop, I went down. That's the little M12 foot nailer. There's a little island wrench right there if you need to take it apart, if it jams up. I'm not that big a, I don't read the instructions and all that mess. I leave that up to y'all. I'm just put a battery in it, pull the trigger, let it roll. But uh, anyway, and I'm more, as far as doing technical reviews, I'm more of, will it do what I want it to do? Is it gonna work? And so, it works. Small trim like that, it's wonderful. Taking the screws out over there of the door, he's on it. But anyway, guys, y'all have a blessed day. I appreciate you commenting. Uh, I appreciate you liking, thumbs up, and all the good stuff you do. And I'll see you on another video.